hi everyone welcome to my channel so friends last few months we are discussing about the core php advanced php php framework like laravel we have learned about laravel library so if you go to my channel we can see there is lots of playlist that is library tutorial api tutorial from beginning to advance and laravel and laravel full course there is 83 videos and in advanced php tutorial and core php tutorial so last few months we had discussed all those things and we have learned the basic topics about these things so basically that was the topic wise discussion we discussed each and every things about this topic some of friends asking me if i can discuss how we can face interview questions or some can common things we generally interviewer are asking so today we'll going to create a new series that is the interview question and answer series and in this series we will start from very basic php and we'll go to deep step by step so it will help from freshers level to the experience level personals so first thing the interviewer can ask the why you want to work in php so this is the very common question and interviewer can ask the very beginning of the interview so answer is smartly so the first point is nowadays website marketing is increasing and its market price is going high day by day okay so using php we can easily create any kind of web application and websites and we are getting additional advantages and that the php is open source and obviously it is working in server side so we can build any dynamically website with the help of php so if we check we can see some famous web portal like facebook wikipedia yahoo all are built with php so that will give you additional confidence to learn about the php so i think starting a career in php is a really good idea especially those who come from an it background and want to stay in this industry and also php is very easy to learn having a oops concept which are using some advanced framework like code igniter laravel and you can say any cms like wordpress magento so these are using lots in market so when you talked about why you want to work in php i have mentioned we can create any website and web application so what is the website and what is the concept of web application so don't be confused website is basically content based things where there is basically data features from database and shows the result as simple okay so a website can be a, a static or dynamic also you can create a static website using just html but to make it dynamic you need to use the php so we are talking about the dynamic website so we can use php to make dynamic website okay and the web application is generally have some complex logic basically that are web tools that perform certain functionality so it can have different types of roles authentication process to do their right job so basically web application is a complex programming logic so there we can have a product and there are multiple types of user there are multiple types of roles and they will log in and they will get their dashboard as logically okay so basically this is the web application so, and the next question can you say the acronym of php is the simple answer is php is php hypertext preprocessor so when you talked about the php's hypertext preprocessor then a direct question will appear to you why php says the hypertext preprocessor so the answer is simple because php library are already compiled and processed when someone sends any request from browser through address bar that will first go to the server then response back to the that person 
so let's take an example suppose you are using the apache server so when we are requesting already the server running on the server then server interpret php files and sends back response to the person okay so that's the reason php is said as hypertext preprocessor so next question can be asked have you heard about peer so what is peer in php the answer should be yes basically the peer is the php extension and application repository okay so php extension and application repository application repository so what is it so basically it is a framework or you can say a distribution system for reusable php concept so it extends php and gives a higher level of programming for all web developers so basically what is consist of pair so basically pair has the three parts so first one is the pair core components so right here pair core components and the next is pair packages and the last one is pcl packages okay so this is also a one type of packages so pcl is basically the php extension community library so here you can see the php extension and application repository so pcl stands for php extension community library so i am writing this for your better reference so right here community library so in this video we discussed few questions answers so there are some lots of questions answer we will discuss in our upcoming video if you love this video please like and subscribe this channel for upcoming video thanks for watching this video have a good day bye